Hello, everybody. Just a quick update of what I've been doing down here in Florida. So this is the area where a lot of my military contacts are located. And so I've had the privilege of getting to meet in person some of my military contacts and um, working with them. And um, a lot of what Mr. T and his team, from my understanding, want me to really focus on is what I do best, and that is talking about the missing information uh, when it comes to our, our story spiritually. And so while I've been down here, I've been doing a few videos with another person who is connected to the military as well. And I am going to be placing a link down in the description box below to that particular channel, The History of the Future, which also connects to, I believe it's called T and T Electric. I'm not 100% sure if I'm accurate on that. So Mr. T, I apologize if that um, isn't correct, the T and the T stand for Trump and Tesla. Um, and what they want me to do basically is to start really diving into the Magdalene bloodline and the marriage of Yahshua and Magdalene. And the fact that what we're going through right now is, is a lot, it's a lot of stuff, <laughs> but it's also a bloodline war, you know, and um, a lot of this, why is the Magdalene bloodline the one that's so prevalent right now, the Merovingian bloodline, well, it goes back to Atlantis. And so we're going to slowly start to get into that. I'll, I'll hold up a second. I gotta, I gotta get All right. Sorry, guys. Somebody brought my laundry to me. And for those who know me, uh, I'm very anal retentive when it comes to cleanliness and organization. So I had to stop for a moment and fold my panties. So um, anyway, um, as I was saying, this is all going to lead back to Atlantis. And the true story of humanity, which is a very spiritual, spiritual, spiritual story. And we are at kind of crunch time now, and it's really up to us. And that's something I learned yesterday. I asked a really hard question. I said, I asked openly and honestly, like, have we not flipped because of humanity? And the answer I got was yes, we haven't flipped because humanity hasn't consented to flipping yet. And I just want to make it clear that, um, they are very excited about this challenge we're all doing because this is this is literally going to jumpstart a lot of stuff. Be very weary of this idea of a movie. Okay. The human body is a treasure chest of information. And the only way that certain information is kind of come through is if we all start to heal each other and heal ourselves and we consent to understanding and we consent to being vulnerable and taking our power back. And when we're sedentary or we're stuck in victim mentality, we're consenting to a negative polarity. And the sedentary, eat your popcorn, don't do anything is what's stalling everything, okay? It's about us. And again, Mr. T, all these people from my understanding are very excited about this challenge that we're doing. And so um, you are the storm. You, you, you are, you're it. Uh, this is why I keep telling you guys, be very careful about going to healers or tarot card readers or any type of spiritual person who doesn't work on themselves, who doesn't work out. Okay. That's a huge red flag. If they don't exercise because they're not flushing energy, they're not working on themselves. So how, how can they help you if they haven't helped themselves, if they're still stuck in their own wounds? All right. Um, be very careful who you're giving your birth information to. I'm going to say this again. Sadly, 90% of the truthers are paid by the controllers. They're part of the cabal. That's why a lot of them are now shape-shifting on camera. All right. So be very careful who you're giving your birth information to for birth charts. That's how they're finding certain people goes back to Atlantis, to the DNA, to your makeup from your astrological chart. And they can't find you unless you consent. This is all about consent and free will. So if you consent by giving someone your birth information that you don't know, especially if it's really cheap, it's highly likely that it's being used for nefarious purposes. So just be very careful. Be very careful who you're following. Do not lionize any truthers. Do not worship any truthers. 
if you find yourself being addicted to a certain channel, then there might be a problem there. Okay. Um, just be very careful. Research everything, even things I tell you, research for yourself. Don't be a follower, right? Take your sovereignty back. Take your power back. There's a reason why a few of us are not on that tour right now. There's a reason why. Think about covens and the power of covens when they come together. And there's a reason why some of us have been held back from that. Okay? This is the biggest war we've ever been in. And you can't, according to all the spiritual um, text, now is not the time to be neutral. The law of one makes it very clear that if you take the gray path, the neutral path, you're going negative. Now is the time to stand up for what's right. And this all comes down to cons consent. So again, that comes down to even people reading on people without their consent. That's a huge violation. To pull cards on someone, whether that person is perceived to be a good guy or a bad guy, they still need, you still need their consent. Okay? So really think about this. Now is the time to really start to put yourself in that position of moral of a moral compass, what is right and what is wrong. There's very clear indicators of what is right and what is wrong. And it's okay if you've messed up. I've messed up. I've messed up. There were times I was reading on people without their consent before I figured it out. The minute I figured it out, I course corrected. It's okay if you mess up and you correct yourself. What's okay is if you mess up and you don't correct yourself and you continue to go down the path of bad behavior. It's going to be I think very upsetting for a lot of people when they learn the truth behind some of these other truthers. It was upsetting for me. Um, I do know the demons they're working with. I was given a, a download of everything by another person, not just on my own, but by an actual person showed me all the demons they're working with the names, the spells they're using. A lot of these people are selling products with a certain drug in them that starts with an A. That's all I'm going to say. So be careful what you buy from people. All right. And now again, now is now is not the time to just be neutral. And now is the time to, to, to make your choices. Even the military back channel, I believe, said that at one point, like there was going to time come a time where you're going to have to make a choice. But I think a lot of you watching already know that. And seeing that we have over over 200 people pushing closer to 300 people now doing the 30 day challenge is unbelievable. And that's very, excuse me, that's very, very, very exciting. So I'm so happy. But anyway, if you want to hear more of what I'm up to, follow the link down in the description box below. And um, it's going to be hectic. I don't really know like what my schedule is going to look like in the next few months. I mean, I know my schedule for my videos, that's going to stay the same. But as far as where I'm going to be located and moved around, I don't know. Um, we'll just, we'll just see. So anyway, I hope you guys are well. Have a wonderful Saturday. And again, if you want to join the Shadow Work Challenge, email address is down in the description box below. Bye, guys.